days. And uh, I'll tell you, God is doing something incredible uh, in the neighborhood of Roseville, California. Amen. But I heard somebody say this. They said, rejoice when your neighbor is blessed because that means that God is in the neighborhood. Amen. And I'll tell you, you're in the neighborhood tonight. Amen. I know when, when we walked in and worship was going on, there's a spirit of expectancy that is in this house. And I, and I can feel it. And I know we spent some time. There's been expectancy. You wrote down prayers. Hey, I've been watching services. Amen. I might not always be here, but I'm, I'm logging in. I'm watching and I've watched you guys sign names. It's, a, it's expectancy. You got to come expecting and you write down those prayer requests and you put them down here. And hey, I'm telling you, all of those prayers, all of those names, God's got them. Amen. And I'll tell you this story and I'm going to introduce the speaker here tonight. But about a little over three years ago, the evangelist that's getting ready to take this pulpit was at our church when we were in Rockland, small little building. And uh, he stepped up to the pulpit and he was preaching. And he stepped to the front of our little platform and he says, I'm going to prophesy to this church right now. He said, in two years time, your congregation is going to double. Amen. And I'll be honest, I wish I had as much faith as y'all clapping right now. <laughs> But I was looking, I was going, oh man, how am I going to explain this to the congregation? How are we going to, and God said, hey, this ain't your congregation anyway. And I said, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. And I will tell you, in two years time, two weeks before that, we were looking at a building to purchase and Pastor Young called me and he said, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know about, but he said, I just want you to pray. I believe God just gave you a building. And when we walked into the Rock Church North, now on 327 Alifa Street, we walked in and the congregation doubled and music doubled and the ushers doubled and the Sunday school doubled. Amen. I'm not saying that to brag on any of us, but I'm telling you the man that's getting ready to come to this pulpit has not only gifts of loving God and the kingdom and his people, Amen. But I'm just going to tell you, whatever he's getting ready to preach, just get ready to receive it. Amen. Is there anybody ready to receive the word of the Lord? Amen. Brother Poindexter, I want you to come and take your liberty in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him on a Tuesday night. I feel the power of God in this house right now. Come on, you're in the house with the people of God. You've got the promises of God. You've got the power of God. Somebody ought to go ahead and release the praises unto God. Come on, is there a shout in the house? Come on, all through this place, young and old, why don't we give God praise in the house of God? For I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house. Somebody shout with the shout of victory. Oh, clap your hands and give God praise. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Has God been good to anybody? Raise your hand. Look at all these hands. A God that's put food on the table. Clothes in the closet. Some cars in the driveway. Job to go to work to. House to come home to kids to run around with. I think we're a blessed people tonight. I've got to come to the house of God and I've got to pay my vows now. While well, I've got breath in my body, I'm going to use this breath to shout unto God. While well, I've got feet on this body, I'm going to use these feet to praise God. And when I've got hands, I'm going to use them to clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Somebody praise him tonight. I know it's a Tuesday night, but if we really tap in, it can be Friday night conference night tonight. Because the same God that descends down on Friday night is the same God that's been taking care of you for years and he's here tonight. And when the praises go up, power comes down. When the praises go up, 
relief comes down. I said when the praises go up, the Holy Ghost comes down and the Holy Ghost is your answer. Somebody praise him like you ought to praise him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody go ahead and let loose in this house. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. I'll praise him on Friday night, and I'll praise him on Tuesday night. I'll praise him when the bills go up. I'll praise him when the bills go down. Somebody go ahead and take a praise break and begin to praise your God. I wonder if there's any runners in the house. I wonder if there's any runners in the house. Therefore, being compassed with so great a cloud of witness, let us cast off the weight and the sin, and let us run this race. Let us run this race. Let us run this race. Somebody run for Jesus. Somebody run for Jesus. Come on, I got a new balance, and I'm running for Jesus. Run on, young man, run on. Run on, young woman, run on. Run on, young minister, run on. Run for Jesus. Come on, I'm stepping out, and I'm stepping in. I know it's Tuesday night, but tonight's a night of a breakthrough. Tonight's a night of a miracle. I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed of praise. I am not ashamed of the shout. Somebody ought to let it go. Somebody ought to let it loose. Somebody ought to get ugly for Jesus. Come on. I didn't come to look pretty. But I've come to praise a good looking God. Somebody break through it. Somebody run through the truth. Somebody leap over the wall. You've got God behind you. Somebody begin to praise him. If you've got the Holy Ghost, why don't you pray in tongues? Come on, I feel faith in this place right now. I don't know if we'll get past this point, brother, but I feel like being Pentecostal in 2022, brother. I still feel like preaching holiness in 2022, brother. I still feel like preaching praise in 2022. Somebody clap your hands and give God a praise. Jesus said in Revelation 21, 5, behold, I make all things new. I'm coming, it's a new year. And you might have some new problems, but if you got new problems, it's time to put on a new praise. David said, I'll sing a new song unto the Lord. I'm putting away my old song. I got a new step now. I've got a new nature now. I got a new praise now. Somebody praise God like you've never praised him in your life. Come on. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on, this is a godly moment right now. You go ahead and grab your miracle right now. You go ahead and grab your miracle right now. Come on, lift up your voice. If you've got the Holy Ghost, why don't you pray in that new tongue? 
These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. Come on, we can cast out devils right now. In my name they shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. If you need the Holy Ghost, lift up your hands. And God will fill you and you shall speak with new languages. Speak with new tongues. Somebody break through in the name of Jesus. Somebody say these signs shall follow them, not him, them. The day of the one man revival is over, brother. This is a body revival. Woo. Jesus said in the last days, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Amen. The same power that's in those hands is the same power that's in your hands. Why don't you lift up that hand unto the Lord right now? I want you to lay that hand on your neighbor right now. I want you to pray for your neighbor. Come on. You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost. Power to break spirits. Power to break chains. Power to break your past. Power to break addiction. Power to break pornography. Power to break bitterness. You shall receive power. Power to break poverty. Power to break unforgiveness. Power to break confusion. You shall receive power. Come on, pray. Pray. Come on, lay hands on them. Come on, lay hands on them. Come on, prophesy to them. You shall receive it, brother. You shall receive it. That authority in the spirit, that overcoming anointing you've been wanting, you shall receive it. Come on, I rebuke the spirit of fear. I rebuke the spirit of intimidation. You've got the anointing on you. You've got the Holy Ghost on you. Come on, use it. Use it in the name of Jesus. Stir up the gift. Stir up the gift. Come on, lift up your voice like a trumpet right now. Shut up, Husband, lay hands on your wife. Wife, lay hands on your children. Stir up that gift. Come on, young man. Come on, young man. Get in the Holy Ghost. Come on, dig deep in the. Go to the next level. Go to the next level. That's it, young man. Shout it off. Shout it off. Shout it off. Turn it up. Break it loose. Come on, there's breakthroughs in this house. Come on. I want you to let go of all restriction. Let go with the Holy Ghost now. Let go right now. Let the tears fall. Let the walls fall. Come on, young man, let it loose. Let it loose now. Don't worry about what you look like. Let it loose now. Come on, Holy Ghost is moving on your behalf. If you'll come down and respond to the Holy Ghost. Come on, there's a holy anointing in this house. God has commissioned you. God 
hasn't called you, God has anointed you, be not afraid. Be not afraid to teach. Be not afraid to pray. Be not afraid to cast out devils. God has called you. Come on, young man. God has anointed you. Come on, if you need a miracle, if you need a breakthrough, I want you to come down to this altar right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on. I want you to come help these young folk pray tonight. Come on, there's a miracle in this house. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus name come on let the Holy Ghost work come on let the Holy Ghost have his way come on let the Holy Ghost flow come on move with the Holy Ghost Woo! come on you need the Holy Ghost, I want you to come. You need a breakthrough, I want you to come. For where the Spirit of the Lord is. Come on, come on, come on. I need a breakthrough in my family, come and pray. I need a breakthrough on the job, come and pray. Come on, young, young children are praying for the Holy Ghost. Come on, pray. Somebody get with it in the name of Jesus. Woo! Come on, let the fire fall now, Lord. Come on, another wave of the Holy Ghost is about to come. Another wave of the Holy Ghost is about to come. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Come on, this is apostolic. Come on, this is Pentecost. And the place was shaken where they prayed. The place was shaken where they prayed. Shake this atmosphere, God. Come on, young man, pray. I want you to pray till it begins to shake. I want you to pray till it begins to shake. Woo! Come on. Lift it up. Yes. Come on, there's an anointing in this place right now. Jesus in your name, Lord. way now Hala muria dana marianda ya dana da bosaya Shada da 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 ya la moyo do yo do 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 sa Come on be not afraid Be not afraid Shabarianda rende morianda ya bahaya Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on. That's it, brother. That's it. Go ahead, push. Somebody push into it now. Pray till it shakes. Pray till it breaks. Pray till it shakes. Come on. Pray till it breaks. Shit. Woo! They 
men ought always to pray and not to faint. Come on, they're breaking through right now. Come on, young man, lift up your voice, brother. Come on, come on. Come on, everything's in order. Come on, lay hands on somebody and pray till it begins to shake. Come on, pray till it breaks in the name of Jesus. Come on, God is pouring out favor right now. God is resurrecting right now. Come on, you let the Holy Ghost have his way. Not my will, but thine will be done. Somebody begin to break it in the name of Jesus. Come on, if you will let loose, if you will let loose and let God have his way. Come on, the Holy Ghost won't let me loose right now. Yes. Come on, let loose, let loose. You feel it. You feel it. Let it all go. Don't worry about what you sound like. Don't worry about what you look like. Let it go now. Fall out. Fall out. Humble yourself. And God shall lift you up. Fall out if you have to, and God shall lift you up. Somebody clap your hands unto the Lord right now. Come on, clap your hands unto the Lord. Amen. I want you to remain standing up here. Amen. I just want to obey the Holy Ghost tonight. It is very evident that the Holy Ghost is all in this place right now. I'm a little old-fashioned because I know there's people that come to hear some word as well. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden. He said, and I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. 
and you shall find rest unto your soul. It's not the will of God for you to walk out of here labored and heavy laden. It's the will of God for you to walk out of here with rest in your soul. Hear me. It's not the will of God for you to wake up tomorrow morning and your mind on your money and your money on your mind. And your mind on your bills and your bills on your mind. And your mind on your health and your health on your mind. It's the will of God for you to wake up tomorrow morning and say, this is the day that the Lord hath made. For Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 30, he said, for my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. Hallelujah. Somebody say easy. Somebody say easy. For my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. I guess what I'm trying to say, elders, is I'm too blessed to be stressed. Somebody say, I'm too blessed. It's not the will of God for this church to be stressed out. Come on. I know where I'm at. I know what God spoke to me about. And I, I, think, I think God is trying to knock on the door of the church and say, I got an easier way. Psalm 127 verse 1 said, except the Lord build the house. He said, we labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city. The watchman waketh but in vain. He said, it is vain for you to sit up late and to rise up early and to eat the bread of sorrows. For he giveth his beloved sleep. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Jesus said that the cares of this world, the anxiety and the stress of this world, he said, and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things will enter in and it will choke the word. Don't you know that the Latin word for anxious means to strangle? Don't you know that the German word for worry means to choke? And the devil's knocking on your door and he's trying to propel you every day that you need to be stressed out that you need to be worried about the finances you need to be worried about the job come on you need to be worried about the mortgage you need to be worried about your retirement plan hey man i'm too blessed to be stressed i think it's the will of god that i cast all of my cares upon him come on i think it's the will of god that I cast all of that pressure upon Jesus. And when I walk out of here tonight, brother, I'm walking with my mind free. I wonder if anybody can praise him through the stress. I wonder if anybody can praise him through the anxiety. Jesus said the cares of this world belong to the world and the world is stressed out about money I said the world is stressed out about making gain but I read somewhere in my Bible that says give and it shall be given unto you I'm not gonna worry over the finances brother I'm not going to sit up late trying to figure it all out. But I'm going to close the ledger. I'm going to open the Bible. And I'm going to see what Jesus said. I'll pour you out a blessing. And I'll open up the windows of heaven. It's not the will of God for you to stress over getting rich. Somebody say stressed out. I can't leave here without preaching a little bit, brother. Because there's too many families fighting over finances. There's too many people laying on their bed at night when they should be thinking about Jesus 
They're thinking about the ledger book. Is this all right tonight? Is it all right if I come in and sit down? It's too many people. Amen. Worrying about what they look like in appearance, stressed out if people are going to receive them. I read in my Bible, he said, no, no, no. He said, the will of God for you is to be at rest and to be at peace. Somebody say the will of God. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, be careful for nothing. Somebody say that's a commandment. Just like Acts 2.38. He said, be the same man that wrote for Philippians 4.6 is the same man that preached Acts 2.38. He said, be careful for nothing, brother. That word careful means be anxious or be stressed out about nothing. See, because when you're stressed out, you can't play with your kids like you're supposed to. I feel the Holy Ghost creeping in. See, see, when you're stressed out, you can't talk to your wife like you're supposed to. And when you're full of fear and anxiety, you can't talk to God like you're supposed to. But he said, be careful for nothing. But in everything. But in everything. But in everything. By prayer. What did we just get done doing? But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving that's a praise break right there with thanksgiving with thanksgiving let your request let your request be made known unto God and the peace of God that passes all understanding I, I said the peace of God that passes all understanding shall keep your heart and keep your mind through Christ Jesus. Somebody ought to praise him. Come on, lift up your hands right now and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, I'm done. Somebody begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. It's not the will of God for you to have the pressure. So I'm going to pray through it right now. I'm going to praise through the pressure. Somebody begin to praise him until the peace of God begins to come. Woo! Brother, they said signs of stress. One of the signs of stress is depression, chest pain, high blood pressure. Not the will of God in my book. Commotion and chaos. Can't focus. Because the devil's bringing stress on me. But the Bible says if I'll learn how to pray. He said that if I'll learn how to supplicate before God. You know what the word supplication means? That means when you look over your situation. And you see that things are lacking. And the necessities are lacking. He said that's supplication when you bring it before God. He said I want you to bring every quest. Every request before God. He said, and after you prayed and you brought your request before the Lord, he said, then what I want you to do is I want you to offer thanksgiving unto God. He said, and once you pray and you've supplicated before God and you've praised the Lord, he said, then you wait on the peace of God that passes all understanding. He said, this peace of God will keep your mind. This peace of God will keep your heart. The Greek word for keep there means this peace of God will protect your mind from hostile invasion.
And I'm wondering, and I want to know who in here has been carrying stress upon stress, pressure upon pressure, this problem and that problem. And I want to know if you will pray, praise, and wait until you get the peace of God before you leave here tonight. Say, man, I got to hop in the vehicle and I got to get home. I've got too many things going on. I got too many situations. I've got too many problems. Or they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. You can drive home or you can fly home. I said, you can drive home or you can fly home before it's all over, brother. Come on, lift up your hands right now. Come on, as we close this out, I want you to begin to pray. Come on, I rebuke anxiety. I rebuke stress. I rebuke every lie of the devil. I rebuke fear about your health. Come on, the devil's lying to you. You ain't messed up, you blessed up. Come on, mama. He said, I'm going to take care of you. Come on, I want you to grab your family and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Something's beginning to break in this house. Come on, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Come on, I want you to grab your family. I want you to pray. God, I rebuke depression. God, I rebuke exhaustion. I rebuke anxiety. I'm not worried about getting rich. I'm worried about getting a hold of the Holy Ghost. I'm not thinking about my money. I'm thinking about the Messiah now. Something's beginning to move in this place right now. Come on. Come on, husband. Come on, wife. Cast all of your cares upon him. Come on, pray you one for another. Come on, pray you one for another. And the God of peace. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet. Come on, I rebuke confusion. I rebuke worry. I feel peace in this house right now. If you're a minister, I want you to find some people to pray with right now. Come on, I want you to find somebody, lay hands on them. Come on, begin to pray as the Holy Ghost begins to lead you. Come on, there's a spirit of peace beginning to flow in this house. Take my yoke upon you, 
for my yoke is easy. Come on. Pray that burden off. Come on. Don't leave until the peace of God rules in your heart. Don't leave until the anxiety is gone. Come on, get in the Holy Ghost. Come on, pray in tongues. Out of thy belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of thy belly shall flow rivers. 